folks, Homer Ibarra here at the THQ WWE SmackDown vs. Raw game reveal with my man Sheamus, the current reigning champ. How you doing? Doing great, fella. You? I'm doing terrific. Now, you're obviously the champ. Now, you want to you just show off the bling a little bit? Absolutely. Any chance I get to show off the WWE Championship, it's worth it right there. Reigning champ. Now, tomorrow you got a big event tomorrow. Let's talk about your matchup. Big event. It's a huge event. Big event. Giantest event. It's. Uh, <laughs> I said it's a huge event. Yes. It's SummerSlam. It's me. It's Randy Orton. It's the WWE Championship. It's the biggest event of the summer. And for all those people who think that Randy Orton's going to step away as a new WWE Champion, well, they're sadly mistaken. They got another thing coming, right? Absolutely. I'm going to put an end to RKO once and for all, fella. <laughs> just squash it. Just make it undisputed, right? With a smile on my face. <laughs> All right, so obviously we're here for the game, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Now, you know, the, the game's got a lot of new features. The big feature is create your moment, live in the moment. Now, is there any moments from your career or, or in the WWE history that you'd like to relive in the game? Well, I'd rather focus on myself, and I guess in the last year, I've had like, I probably had a lifetime of moments in the last year. I would like to uh, do over WrestleMania 12 if I can. Yeah? You know, Bret Hart, Richard Shawn Michaels. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll do that over, you know. <laughs> Bret Hart's my idol, and I love to see him uh, keep that belt on him, you know, just for, just for a little, little bit longer. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit longer. Now, we're on the eve of SummerSlam. Is there uh, big things tomorrow? What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler match, you know. Yeah. The winner between those two, you know, I got my eye on that icy title. You dig? <laughs> I'm excited because they were saying um, out of like anything or anyone in the world, what would you create? And I had like mixed emotions. I want to have a WrestleMania moment that's like this extraordinary event. And then also having like chairs because you don't ever see women or divas like competing in like chair like ladders or anything. So I was like, oh, I'd have one of those moments. I'd wrestle Lita, Trish, let's see, Sensational Sherry, Natalia. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the game. You're obviously a huge gamer. Are you, how, are you, how are you feeling? Are you excited about the new features coming? We got, we got uh, WWE Universe, all that stuff. Are you, how do you feel about those features? I'm really excited about it. They've been real tight-lipped. You know, you know, I'm always trying to like, get the inside about like, what the new features and everything are. And they haven't told me anything. You know? <laughs> I just finally got a glimpse of the game on the way over here. There's a bunch of TV monitors set up, and it looks fantastic. Man, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the TV right now, and I thought it was a match going on. It looks very <laughs> realistic. I'm looking at it, Randy Orton versus Sheamus. And I thought it was a match from, from one of the pay-per-views that just passed, but it's actually them. And it is the game. It's the video game. Wow. Wow, THQ. You did a good job this year. For some reason, the designers of this game made me somehow a little bit weak. <laughs> I don't know why. The biggest, um, my friends, they play the game. They come and say, I can't beat anybody with your character. I believe I, uh, I'm just this much over a diva for some reason. I mean, I'm obviously uh, an elite athlete, but... Uh, my character is very difficult to beat anyone in the game. In the game. In the game. Obviously. We're not talking about real life at all. No. And actually, uh, I'm looking forward to perhaps next year implementing the Cobra. Well, I, I, it's a big thrill for me to finally get on the game, you know, because, uh, you know, I've, I've learned over years that, um, you know, I meet a lot of young kids that watch uh, wrestling, and I'll, meet, I'll talk to them, and I'll... I'll get the impression talking to them that they they know who I am, but they they've never watched me wrestle. And usually, when you dig around and sort of investigate a little bit, you find that they, they tell you that you know, they've never actually watched you wrestle ever, but they played you on video games. So um, you know that uh, that so much of your young audience today uh, get that the whole, everything they know about you is what they get from video games. Someone told me there today that I only got 70% charisma in that game. <laughs> I was talking to these THQ lads and sort that out because I'm not impressed with that. Everything should be a hundred for Seamus. Hey, Spy audience, just for y'all Modern Warfare gamers, my PS3 ID is JTG1284. Come hit me up and I'll take it down, you dig? Calling folks out. That's all you do. Sure. That's how we do it in BK. That's how we do it in Brooklyn. You call them out. There it is. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Thanks, JTG.